Hello my fellow Retromaniacs and welcome to Let's Watch and React to uh, Super Mario World Animated Series Episode 1 Fire Sale from 1991 Okay, so yeah So this is based on the Super Nintendo game, and um, I guess uh, we will see Yoshi this time, and more enemies, probably Bowser, but but um, who else is gonna be there? Maybe maybe Koopalings, of course, and then. Uh, yeah, let's see. Never seen this, this one. Okay, okay. They're, I love most about my they're using the, the, the castle theme there. The new palace. Is that all these lovely ice mirrors? Oh, she's, she's back. Let me see. Again, as spoiled as before. So, everywhere I look, what I don't like about my ice palace is that it's freezing! <laughs> I'm so cold I have ice on my feet. I'm green and blue, and I hate that. I hate being cold. I think it's cold. I think it stinks. I think that you better do something about it before I lose my temper! <laughs> Who's that Koopa? I wonder, I wonder if we're gonna see a magic Koopa. Because uh, he or she was uh, like a... Well, he wasn't uh, such a big enemy in Super Mario World, but in Yoshi's Island. Why are you tormenting that uh, poor red Koopa Troopa? Mmm, a barbecue! I can taste it already! Oh, Mario! Yeah, there's Yoshi and what are those cave people? Uh, this is no Joanne Mac of the Flintstones. I don't know, why. where did they take that... Uh, Caveman era, you know. Well, obviously, there's. If you, if you think that uh, Yoshi is supposed to be like a dinosaur, then maybe in a stereotypical cartoon way, the, there are cavemen during the Jurassic era. So yeah, maybe that was it. But you know, I, I don't think there should be any humans at all. Dino dogs, brothel burgers, just toads, and Yoshi's. Mmm, stoneberry pie. Yikes! There won't be anything left if you don't stop Yoshi from snack snatching. Yoshi, you dinner devouring dino brat, leave some. Yeah, this is this was before Yoshi had his uh, signature, you know, voice. Uh, I don't know. I think it was the first time in Super Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart 64, where Yoshi got his voice. The rest of us. It just sounded. Oh, oh no, he's talking. Just for that, my ravenous reptile, you can go see Mama Fireplant and bring back some fireballs to start the barbecue. Oh, Kakumba, Mama Fireplant lives on the other side. Well, that's very annoying, annoying sound sounding voice. I can I can hear how it uh, how it uh, hurts the voice actor's throat, sound cords. Of the river, and I scared 
Yeah, that's a, quite the odd looking Yoshi, but you have to remember that the only only Yoshi they had seen is uh, well the video game and then in the manual and so maybe some promo footage and the box art. So yeah, it's just uh, there wasn't like a, uh, like a, like a model sheet for Yoshi just yet if you look at the first games and like the video video game Yoshi for NES it's like a fat Yoshi so the, it wasn't like uh, the 3D Yoshi we know today Who's that coming up through my floor? Well, if it isn't the gruesome girl herself <laughs> Talking on a plant. You're coming with me, you stupid sprout! Oh yeah! Take this, luggage skin! It's supposed to be like a black woman. <gasps> oh, I'm like a sissy plant, yeah. <gasps> I'm not sure. Oh. You think you're hot? <laughs> we'll see about that, you hot-headed horticultural heap! Fortunately, I couldn't uh, find uh, subtitles, so maybe I'm, I'm not getting all those jokes because I cannot understand what she's saying. Yeah, usually, I, I or always have subtitles on because while my English is pretty good, sometimes it's, it's difficult to uh, hear the words, especially if the, well they are not really talking like. Uh, BBC English, so it's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not uh, very uh, clear what they say. Oh. Who's that Koopa who's helping? What did, what did that say? Mama fire plant. Okay, they seriously taking some liberties and like store for a red pop piranha plant. I hate water. I can do it. No, that nose or it looks so weird. It looks like he or she has like a big nose. What is that freezing image? <laughs> yeah, that's some off model Yoshi for you. And his eyes are so small. But do I have to do it now? <laughs> yeah, they didn't know how to draw Yoshi. Put me down, you repulsive Robin Rex! Plant report! Ha! Mystery solved! There's a warp tube under this grate! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Yo! Why was there an ice cube there? Well, maybe it came from the, from the ice palace. Uh, sorry, big brother. I slipped on that melting ice. Ice? Where'd that come from? Uh, Mama Fireplant was defrosting her freezer? Mama Fireplant must have been kidnapped. She would never allow ice in her dome. The last time I saw ice was in Iceland. Maybe the kidnappers took her... Th 
Iceland. There's no such thing as Iceland. It is called Vanilla Dome. There! We must get her back, Mario. It's too cold. She'll die in Iceland. Although I, I'm not quite sure if they... If, if, if everything is based on Super Mario World, or maybe they are actually mixing stuff from Super Mario Bros. 3 and 2 and 1. I don't know. Does ice mean there's water? <laughs> no, Yoshi. Because ice obviously, obviously there there is a ice world. Number six in Super Mario Bros. Three. Water. It's solid. Are you sure this will take us there? Do Koopa Troopas have shells? Besides, little brother, if I wasn't sure, would I do this? <laughs> Let's go! Well, that was a gentleman. Where's Toad? I'm missing Toad for some reason. Yeah, maybe they thought that, you know, Yoshi is gonna replace Toad with just as, as annoying voice. I'm sure glad to have something solid under my feet again. Oh, these levels, yeah, these are like those tricky bonus levels. So it's interesting that they put those things in the show. What about bush that? This is fun! There's another platform below us! Uh, but yeah, there's, there's no Raccoon Mario here, but... There's uh, Cape Mario. So, we're, we're, are we gonna see Cape Mario here? Close, little brother. Little brother? <laughs> Mario! <laughs> He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Luigi! <gasps> Mario, the Paragoombas! <laughs> I'm Goomba then! <laughs> yeah, just let's, let's forget Luigi. He's a goner. He's probably dead already well that's that the only problem what are you standing at problem is, huh what now ah! <laughs> cartoon logic i've got him That was convenient. We gotta go back and find Luigi. You said it, big brother. Yeah, he do it for me in a minute. Luigi! Why is it melting? <laughs> what kept you? Mario, pay attention. We've got to find Mama Fire Plant fast. It's so warm. Look at all the slush. Iceland is melting. Oh, Global warming. Dum -dum -dum. <laughs> Water. And lots of it. If Iceland melts, all of Dinosaur World will be flooded. Mama Fire Plant will be extinguished forever. Now, this is more like it. Listen, you lady lounge lizard. If you don't take me back to Dome City, the cave people will freeze. They can buy fireballs from me. I'll have a fire sale. I'll be rich. Now, let's have more heat, or I know what. If you want to live in a warm place, you should just move away from the Iceland. Yeah, sure, that's going to end up in the frozen food section. I want to see Bowser. Oh no, don't say there's gonna be songs as well. Oh my god. Who thought th this would be a good idea? Yeah, there's at least one thing that uh, 
differentiates the 90s and 80s from 2000s. No one in the 2000s would would do anything like this anymore, at least uh, for money. I like have these ridiculous songs, cheesy songs, because you know they are all animated, they are all recorded, so it must have cost like at least thousands, maybe even tens of thousands. So yeah, what a waste of money. PewDiePie. Still can't re remember her original name in Super Mario Bros. 3. But, um, What can you do, Yoshi? Swallow him? Swallow her? Music. This is not from the game. Yeah, this story doesn't make any sense. As usual. We didn't see Cape Mario. Disappointed. Who are those Cape people? Sassy Okay, well, that was um, uh, well. They are doing the best, but I don't think uh, too much effort was made, at least by the story department. There's some crazy, crazy shenanigans there. But you know, you have to fill the sc sc screen time. You, you know. So yeah, but like the like the previous shows, it has uh, that old uh, uh, Sunday morning cartoon charm. So it's just uh, nice to like uh, imagine yourself as a kid watching those cartoons for the first time. I, I think I would have enjoyed. Have they been shown in, in Finland when I was a kid? But you know, now they are just retro history, if you will. So, yeah. Okay, next time I will watch um, something else. Bye bye.